Hey, my loves. So I scored another box of 10 milligram Manjaro. So I ran to the pharmacy as soon as they told me it was ready and got my second box of 10 milligram. So I was already in bed, but let's talk about it. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the three winners from the scale, the E-Tech City scale that we did the giveaway. And I also want to really thank everyone who turned up for this, everyone who commented, everyone who was a part of the giveaway. Thank you all so much, you guys. So this was our January giveaway and it went tremendously well. I plan to do another giveaway for February, which I'm really excited about because I've already got a few items for that giveaway and I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you so much for everyone who participated in this giveaway. Once again, congratulations, you guys. All right, my love, so it's true. I scored another box of the 10 milligrams. Was a complete surprise because I, you know your girl was stretching that last box thinking this is it. I only have a few weeks left to go. I got the box. I've got one shot left of my old box and I've got the four new shots, which gives me at least, buys me another five weeks. I do, I am supposed to see my doctor in February, so we'll see what he says at that point. I don't know if he'll keep me on it at that point especially if I do reach my goal which you guys know is 185 at this point and this morning I woke up weighing 190.8 pounds which leads me to want to show you guys so I'm fixing to insert this video and we're going to talk about it because I think so many of us get discouraged we're coming into the beginning of the year 2023 and I'm super excited about 2023 you guys I'm just so ready I just feel like, I don't know, I just have like a lot of good energy about 2023. I'm just excited. My daughter and I were talking earlier and I'm literally fixing to weigh what I weighed just out of, out of high school. Like I graduated weighing 180 pounds and I'm fixing to be very close to that. Like I was 19, 18. I mean, I'm almost going to weigh what I weighed when I was 18 years old. Like what? <laughs> Never in a million years did I think that was gonna be possible. So I'm going to insert this clip and we're going to kind of just... All right, you guys. So I kind of want to just show you physically what my weight loss looked like week by week so that you understand that not always are we losing a ton of weight right away. And so I thought this would be a good thing to do. I, obviously, I have a lot more weigh-ins, but I just kind of kept it to almost a weekly unless I saw a big change, then I went ahead and put extra days in there. So as you can see here, I started my weight loss journey April of 2022. I started on a semi-glutide the first 12 weeks that I was on my journey. And then obviously you all know I've been on Manjaro for the rest of my journey so far. So I did start on Wigovi the first 12 weeks. I'm sorry you guys. I thought it would just be easier to keep going than to start all over every time we made a mistake. So... Um, I weighed in at a whopping 241 pounds, you guys. I am only 5'2". So, 241 pounds is excessive, obviously, on my 5'2 frame. So, in the check-ins below, I will show you guys exactly what my weight loss looked like over the course of the last six months, okay? So, obviously, I weighed in for the very first time March 14th, which was two weeks before my birthday, at 241 pounds. By, Feb by April 9th, I was weighing 234.2. Yay! And then April 15th, I weighed in at 230. April 23rd, 231. April 30th, 231. So, that's a perfect example of how I probably lost the most in the beginning and then it kind of started to slow down and then May 7th I had another big dip from 229 to 226 and then if you guys have been following me you know that June was a hard month for me we had a ton of birthdays and I think it was Father's Day and just all kinds of celebrations and so I had no weigh-ins that month because you know me I, I tried to avoid the scale that month in general um, by July 24th, I was down to 211 and then August 7th, as you can see, 205, which was my initial first goal. I am a big believer of setting small goals. Sometimes you achieving small goals like 10 pounds at a time 
makes you feel more accomplished than saying, oh my gosh, I have 50 pounds to lose or 60 pounds to lose. It's just such a big number. And so there we are, September 11th, 199 pounds, you guys. I could not believe my eyes and you all were there front row seat to see me celebrate and be so excited. And so as you all see, October came around and I made it down to 195. I don't know if that's how you spell cruise, you guys. I may have misspelled it. That's what sucks when you're so dependent of spell check, right? Um, And so 1029, that was post-surgery. I went all the way back up to 208, which I clearly knew that that was going to be mostly water weight. And so sure enough, you know, by 1119, I was back to 194. So that set me back a few weeks. Um, But here we are closer to our day. I'm at 193 on December 2nd and then 191 December 28th. And as I said... As of today, which we are December 30th, I weighed in at 190.8. So you too can do it, you guys. You just have to stay consistent and really take it week by week and just keep trying, you guys. I promise it will come off eventually. So as most of you all know, I've been on the 10 milligram for a while now. And I did want to mention that I haven't seen any weird side effects like everything's been pretty normal I didn't see a big difference going from the 7.5 to the 10 milligram I will say that the constipation is back full-blown like haven't gone in a few days and so that's frustrating um the hunger suppression I will say that you need willpower like I still get really hungry sometimes and this is normal it's normal to feel hunger you're going to feel hunger but you have to learn not to give in to your hunger, okay? Because that's the hardest part of this journey is that you're still going to have to rely on willpower. I will say that I get full very, very quickly. Like I can go all day without eating, surpass my hunger pains, you know, get past it, then have my one meal and I'm really full really fast. And so that is something that I really like about the 10 milligram. It's happened through the entire journey, but I want to feel like it's more significant now on the 10 milligram. Um, So that's another thing that when you do get hungry, if you do give in and you're just, you know, you need to eat, the only good thing is that you get full really quickly. So I can snack on a cucumber now, a cucumber with a little bit of lemon and some salt, and I'm perfectly satisfied. I think at this point, I can almost eat anything and be satisfied. And so it doesn't always have to be a full meal, right? You don't always have to go get like a three course meal or, you know, go and get a combo or something. You can literally eat small portions, like maybe a cheese stick and, you know, a, an avocado. Sometimes I can just eat an avocado and be satisfied. And so that's what I'm learning that in my mindset, like I don't have to go eat an entire meal. Like I can eat a healthy snack and that can satisfy me until dinner time. Or I can eat a good size, you know, lunch. A normal lunch and then not eat dinner so I'm just kind of playing with that right now where I'm just eating small portions if I do get hungry very small portions like I said like a cucumber or whatever and I'm and I'm fine so that helps with that um, so I will say that you know a lot of people have the misconception that the higher the dose the more you lose and this is just not true either I know many many people who lose the majority of the weight in the beginning and even though they keep increasing dosage, they still aren't necessarily losing more weight. It's going to be a long journey ahead, right? So that's exactly why I wanted to show you guys that clip of all the my weight loss because I didn't lose weight every single week. Some weeks I gained, some weeks I didn't lose anything. It's, you know, even now, I weighed 197 back in October and I just now hit 190 and we are December 30th. So... I mean, and that's because I've been a lot more lax in my diet because I'm not eating as healthy I was as I was in the beginning. I'm eating a lot more normal foods now. And so, or, you know, I'm snacking a little bit more than I used to or whatnot. So that's just to say that you still have to put in the work to get the results you're looking for, you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a short New Year's is tomorrow literally new year's eve is tomorrow so i want to wish all of you a very happy new year's i hope everyone stays safe out there 
I cannot wait to see you guys on the other side. We will be 2023 in just a day or two. So I'm so excited about that. I can't wait to start our journeys, our five pound challenge. I will weigh in tomorrow and my weigh tomorrow will be my official weigh in going into 2023 because it'll be the last day. And so I will make sure that I make a note, that, a note of that on my e-tech scale and put it in there for you guys so we can all start our five pound challenge. I'm so excited about that. Um, I will also link the information to the scale at, on the description box here. So if you are still interested in purchasing the scale, it is very cost effective and it is a great tool, you guys. I absolutely love it because like I said, it tracks all my weight and makes it easy for me so that I can keep accountability of all my numbers. So I will leave that in the link below. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure that you leave them down below. I try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you guys so much. Till next time, talk soon.